So in the previous video, we went with a direct example, finding the angle between two points A and B. Now we're going to be generalizing it. We're keeping it in two dimensions. OK, so A now has the coordinates A1, A2, and B has the coordinates B1, B2. So we've got the position vectors OA and OB there given in component form. So we're going to use that to now substitute into the cosine rule as we developed um, from the last video. So the first thing is we've got OA, the length of that, all squared. So that would be A1 squared plus A2 squared square rooted and then squared. Okay, so it would just be that. Plus, now OB, same thing, so B1 squared plus B2 squared, like so. Then take away, so then we've got to have the vector AB. So AB is OB minus OA. So we would have B1 take away A1I plus B2 take away A2J. So we want that in the same form, so squared, so we're going to have um, B1 minus A1 squared plus B2 minus A2 squared. Okay. All over two lots of OA, length of OA, so that would be the square root of a1 squared plus a2 squared plus, oh sorry, times the square root of b1 squared plus b2 squared. Okay. So the numerator I want to expand out. So at the moment I've got a1 squared plus A2 squared plus B1 squared plus B2 squared. Okay, from those two brackets. Then I'm going to have, so I'm putting a takeaway sign first and then opening up a bigger bracket. So I will get B1 squared take away two lots of uh, A1 times B1 plus A1 squared plus b2 squared, take away two lots of a2 times b2, plus a2 squared. Now, in the denominator, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep it now. I'm going to go back to this notation. I'm just going to leave it like that because there's, not, um, there's nothing I'm going to do with the denominator at the moment. I'm just going to leave it as those two lengths at the moment. Okay. So we're going to have uh, a1 squared plus a2 squared plus b1 squared plus b2 squared subtracting b1 squared, a1 squared, b2 squared and a2 squared. So they're all gone. And I've got take away and I've got the 2a1b1 plus 2a2b2. Okay. All over two lots of the length of OA times the length of OB. Okay. So you can see that I can divide top and bottom by 2. So I get A1 B1 plus A2 B2 over o, the length of OA times the length of OB. Okay? So, what you have in the numerator here is what we refer to as the scalar product of uh, the two vectors OA and OB. You can see that all it is, is you multiply the um, coefficient, well, your coefficient of the i's together, so a1 times b1, and then you add on a2 times b2. That's all it is. And what we do is we give it a new notation. Okay, so in the in the notation that we've been using, you would write that as the vector OA and then a dot 
with OB. It's sometimes referred to as the dot product, and you may hear it referred to as that. Okay, so cosine theta is equal to this. Now, if we were to use a slightly more abbreviated notation, we could call that the vector A and that the vector B. And if we did that, we could then say, well, cosine theta is equal to A dot B over mod A mod B. And this is the scalar product, OK? That is what it's referred to as. So this actually, rather than going through the cosine rule, actually really speeds up the process of being able to find the angle between two vectors. Because now all I need to do is find A dotted with B, which I now know just means I multiply the uh, number in front of the i's together and add on the number in front of the j's together and then divide that by the lengths of a and b and inverse cosine. Very easy to do. Now what I've done here, I've only shown that this is true in two dimensions. Okay. Next job is to show that this is true in three dimensions.